All right, we're recording now. I'm, I need to get better at recording my my stream so I can vod up and stuff like that. And we're taking a look at we're taking a look at MSC three million dollar prize pool. But the real the, the the whole event behind it, the whole event behind it. This is the esports World Cup. From what I know, I've already done a little bit of research on it. Um, this is the first one that they've ever had. This is the very first. This is the annual esports World Cup. I heard something that it was named something else, Gamer Eight. Um, yeah, I told you, Trex, MLB is going to Gamers Eight at Saudi. Yes, but now it's 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 all being called esports World Cup or whatever. And MLBB is actually the first. This is going to be an eight week. It's like an eight week esports festival or whatever, kind of like ISF or um, you know things like that. But um, it's going to be held in Saudi. I think it's going to start being held in Saudi every year. There's a little bit of a video on it. Let's check it out. Wait, I need sound. In My bad. A magazine subscription. That was the prize at the first esports competition in history. That's kind of crazy if we think about it. The very first esports competition ever held, the first pl place player got a, a, mag a Rolling Stone subscription. Fast forward to today, and the world's best esports athletes are competing for six-figure prizes. Gaming culture has become the new pop culture and a $200 billion industry. Esports athletes now sell out Madison Square Garden in minutes. Still, esports has yet to realize its full potential. Three billion people play video games, but only 15% of gamers follow esports. How do we make it 50%? That's kind of crazy. Three billion people play video games. Only 15%. Only 15% follow esports, man. What's the math on that, yo? Or 100. By creating a new home for esports. A global stage committed to the growth of the ecosystem. A unique cross-game competition format where the best clubs compete across multiple games to crown the best esports club in the world. An investment in the future of esports talent. Hold on, so, 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 you notice how, like, I, I think their ultimate goal will be to invite clubs, like, organized, by clubs they mean orgs, right? That have multiple, that maybe have a... An investment in the full games to crown where the best clubs compete in game competition format where the best clubs compete across multiple games to crown the best esports club. So is like future down the line getting orgs that hold different teams and multiple titles? So not only will you be the best if you win, let's say like Blacklist has their, Blacklist has Valorant, right? I'm pretty sure they have, um, so they have like Valorant. What do they have? Dota. Um, they have Mobile Legends. Um, let's say they have five clubs and they get first place in three different genres and no other club gets first place. Are they now considered the world's best esports? You know what I'm saying? Well, an investment in the future of esports. I mean, of course, that's not going to be exactly what happens now because they're inviting like NA teams from Mobile Legends and we don't have any clubs. But hey, whatever. Talent. With the largest prize pool in the history of esports. Because stronger esports athletes me stronger competition and what better largest esports are they meaning the total of all of the genres i guess maybe it's a place to bring gamers from all over the world together every summer than react the bridge between the west and the east here's the big thing it's going to be every summer and it's always going to be in Riyadh, which is pretty cute like they're already saying like this is a, and this is just day one and my guess is saudi's going to go hard for this they're not going to come slacking um, they are not going to come with any kind of BS. Like there shouldn't be any big production issues because they know like this is their shot right here. And I really, from what I know is like Saudi's, I mean, after FIFA world cup and everything, like they're really trying to like open up the gates a bit and make themselves an entertainment, um, district of the world. Right. And this is like their point. Like they're the gate between the East and the West. So excited for it. This is esports world cup. Summer 2024, Riyadh, Saudi Arabia. 
That's lit. That's lit. I so let's look a little bit more. I, a I, magazine subscription. I mean, just from the prize pool, as long as they perform well, as long as they perform well, they should do great. I think as long as they, uh, as long as everything goes without any hiccups, it should be lit. Should be really good. New chapter in esports history, uniting the world of gaming around a single tournament. Eight weeks of nonstop action and entertainment, a celebration of gaming and esports. Starting from 2024 Esports World Cup, powered by Esports World Cup Foundation, will welcome the world to Riyadh for eight weeks of intense competition and a full calendar of entertainment inspired by the world of video games. Through its unique cross-game competition structure, structure, Esports World Cup will pit the world's elite esports athletes. Yada, 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 yada. Sounds cool. A truly global tournament. The only tournament with the world's leading games, the top games in one place, with each game having its own competition as a part of an eight-week tournament calendar. Crowning the world's best esports club, introducing a new way to play where esports clubs compete across the world's leading games through a unique points-based system to define who reigns supreme as the esports World Cup champion. So that's cool. So so I was right. If if a or so they want multiple, they want big orgs to enter into multiple different games. Send teams of multiple different games, and they'll have a point system depending on how you place in each game, and that'll crown the best esports org, club, whatever you want to call it. Prize pool, bounties, and rewards. Unprecedented scale and structure to ensure fair allocation of prize pool between esports athletes and clubs to reward the best of the best while celebrating exciting moments. That's pretty cool. Is this Riyadh right here? Because it looks litty. Here's the thing. What this could also do. The thing about this is right. What this can also do is it can encourage clubs. So if this gets really big, the really cool thing about the whole club idea that they have is it doesn't only help the clubs, but it helps games get more orgs involved. Um, because here's the thing. If you want to get more points, if let's say, for example, 100 Thieves... Or, you know, T T one or whatever, maybe they don't have any Street Fighter players or any mobile legends teams, or they're missing something in a racing game or this or that, whatever whatever games, all the different genres that are gonna be involved in this. If they don't have that, but they wanna be able to score high and get more points and win the alt you know, the more prize pool, then it might encourage them to invest into that, right? make a team in Mobile Legends so that they can compete in the Esports World Cup in that game and get more points in that game. Um, lots of possibilities, lots of things I think definitely to talk about. I'm definitely excited about it. It's going to be cool.